Elon Musk wants to drive you across the country. Don't make him angry or he just might turn this car around. Find out more on today's Musk Watch! Baby, that's good musket. In preparation for their planned coast-to-coast -coast autopilot demonstration, a new Tesla autopilot update is coming soon that yes. addresses a bunch of criticisms users had with the previous versions. Now, Tesla's tweaks to its semi-autonomous drive will improve performance and speed. Now, according to Musk, <clears throat> yes, control algorithm safe but unpleasant. And he later added, new control algorithm feels smooth as silk. Perfect impression. We actually had suggested a few changes to Tesla, but we we haven't heard back on our proposed flight mode. Oh, love that mode. Invisible mode. What a sick mode. Or adopt Dan and Kyle immediately mode. Dad? That's not the future that we're gonna have. Anyway, SpaceX is partnering with Elysium Space, a sequel to Chappie Space. It's a startup that wants to send you and your loved ones into outer space for the low, low price of $2,490. Damn, that's cheap. Now that sounds like a pretty good price, Dan, and all you have to do is die. Oh, but wait, there's more. Yes, indeed, for the low entry point of your death, you can have a portion of your crispy remains blasted into the outer voids of space. Born one of SpaceX's glorious Falcon 9 rockets, baby! That, like, that even sound like English? That sounds like a good deal. Elysium Space, which isn't quite as good as District 9 Space, will again send you to the moon, but in the form of ashes for only $9,950. What incredible savings! And call now, we'll throw in your grandma's ashes for free. Hey Dan. Hey Kyle. What's the number one thing you wish bacteria could do with your clothing? Oh man, make my uh, pants at least 10% softer. Really? Yeah. Do you have what? a problem with your pants softness? No, but like, what if they could be softer? That's true. Well, you're one step closer to your dream, kind of, because a team at MIT created an athletic shirt that opens up ventilation panels when you sweat using bacteria in the fabric that expand when they absorb said sweat. So it's not pants softness, but you're gonna have a sick breeze. I'm gonna get your like nips. I'm gonna get sexy sweat gills appearing on my bod. Yeah. As I turn into the uh, sort of modern day equivalent of Alex Mack. Yeah, you're gonna be a hot sweat fish. Well, uh, despite my most ardent wishes, it would probably be real unfortunate if they made shorts using the same technology because <laughs> his butt vents are way oh, open. Oh no, that is a ass skylight. Now, in Musk wannabe news, Amazon CEO Jeff Bezos more like Bezos. Whoa, laid out his Bo plan. <laughs> for a colony on the moon. More like the boon. Because we here at Musquatch call the moon the more boring version of Mars. That's what we want. The basic plan would start with using robots to pre-assemble as much as possible before humans come to the surface and finish everything up. He says the best spot on the moon for a base would be in the polar regions where there may be underground ice reserves that are shielded from sunlight. Bezos' space flight company, Blue Origin, has two ship designs. The new Glenn, what a great name. What are you doing? Which will start servers in 2020, and the new Shepard, which should possibly be used for space tourism by next year. You know, that that is actually pretty cool, Dan. Is he going to bring the tourists to Mars, though? No. No, he's not. Well, then who cares? He bees won't. That's what we want. Okay, now before we go, it's time for your Musk see moment of the week. <laughs> we have a graphic for this, right? We, we do. Because I'm going to continuously look stupid. Today's Musk see moment is this sick ass party Elon Musk threw this past weekend to celebrate the successful reuse of one of their rocket boosters back in March. And don't worry about us, Elon. I mean, <laughs> we're not offended. We didn't go. We're sure our invitations were just lost in the mail. Maybe, uh... Yeah, why would, why would we want to go? We just do an entire show about you. Like, just... it was... You know what? We don't even like parties with giant kick-ass flamethrowers anyway. They had flamethrowers? And that wraps it up for this week's Musk Watch. As we always say on this show, when it's time to go, you gotta say one word and one word alone. And that Which word is, is bye. bye. Thank you so much for watching. And if you're not caught up on Musk Watch, what is your problem, Jeffrey? Check out our first three episodes, because they're all online for your viewing pleasure. And make sure to tweet us your best musky stories at SciFile, at Dan Casey, and at Nerdist with the hashtag MuskWatch. <laughs> oh, handsome as guitar, baby! A doctor! <laughs>